moving towards next topic that is learned behavior uh, and uh, you have already studied uh, there are uh, two types of uh, behavior uh, which is uh, fixed and uh, genetically determined is known as uh, innate behavior whereas uh, other type of behavior uh, behavior uh, which is improved uh, with the experience uh, of uh, organism that is known as uh, learned behavior so we have uh, examples uh, for uh, uh, learned behavior uh, one thing keep in your mind uh, in animals with less organization such as uh, invertebrate uh, most of the behavior uh, within invertebrate uh, is innate behavior whereas uh, as we move towards the higher uh, uh, animals uh, birds and mammal they have um, learned behavior uh, and most of the their behavior uh, they learn from their parents and uh, surrounding environment in case of man where uh, a brain size uh, is always uh, highly developed uh, most of the behavior uh, which we perform in our uh, daily life uh, are uh, learned behavior and man is that species uh, Uh, which uh, also learn to camouflage its behavior ye aise species hai isne apna behavior jo hai original behavior wo bhi chupa leta hai this behavior type where uh, parental care is one of the important uh, step in uh, the life history of individual parental care is more among highly advanced organisms uh, or in case selected uh, organism which have a stable life pattern whereas uh, in are selected uh, they produce more and more individuals uh, and these individuals uh, get uh, uh, less parental care uh, from their parents we have the example of uh, californian mice uh, fostered by white footed mice uh, and uh, white footed mice uh, fostered by californian mice uh, both mice uh, uh, fostered uh, under the parental care of uh, uh, different uh, mothers in both situations uh, if we look at the aggressiveness of uh, young ones uh, towards the intruder uh, there will be reduced uh, aggression against the Uh, intruder in case of californian mice fostered by white footed mice whereas uh, uh, in case of uh, white footed mice uh, uh, fostered by californian mice uh, there will be no difference uh, in the aggression against the intruder in this case uh, aggression is uh, neutral aggression in neutral situation there will be no difference uh, whereas white footed mice fostered by californian mice uh, there will be increase in aggression whereas uh, uh, in third case uh, that is paternal behavior uh, uh, it will reduce uh, and uh, there will be no difference in case of white footed uh, mice from uh, this uh, uh, experiment uh, we can conclude that uh, if there is uh, little uh, parental care uh, and then there will be less aggression against the intruder if there are uh, high parental care uh, definitely it, there will be so this situation we can apply on uh, the behavior of twins we have two types of twins uh, in case of uh, human being uh, one of them uh, identical twins uh, Uh, and uh, other are uh, fraternal twins uh, young ones uh, which have uh, quite similar phenotype uh, and uh, uh, exactly photocopy or clone of each other uh, then we regarded as uh, identical twin if these identical twins raised uh, within the same environment uh, uh, both will get uh, the, the similar uh, habits uh, and uh, similar learning if we after the birth both identical twins separated and raised in a different environment there will be some 
a different learning behavior and uh, their attitude will also uh, be somewhat different. Uh, many anthropologists uh, and uh, medical doctors uh, study identical twins uh, as an instrumental model for uh, human behavioral disorders. Uh, just like schizophrenia is that uh, mental situation in which uh, people interpret reality in an abnormal way. Bunyadi taur pe ye schizophrenia is in ki study ke liye aur phir mukhtalif uh, anxiety disorders which uh, aise uh, individual bhi hote hain jo apne anxiety depression or uh, shortcomings ko uh, dur karne ke liye different uh, drugs uh, mein involve ho jate hain so hum uh, jo identical twins ka uh, model hai isko hum different cases mein uh, apply kar sakte hain uh, further hum dekhte hain ke learning behavior and uh, learning behavior ki jab baat karte hain learning you can say uh, it's a type of modification behavior uh, on the uh, basis of uh, experience learning is the modification of behavior which is based uh, upon the uh, specific experience if uh, uh, some person experience in their life uh, uh, tragedies uh, and failures uh, ultimately that person become the psychologically disturbed and abnormal so these uh, experience in case of uh, a human being uh, uh, is also affect the learning uh, capability as far as uh, learning behavior of uh, any person is concerned uh, and uh, every person has uh, different uh, uh, circumstances, different environment. Uh, so I always advise my uh, student, uh, don't try to compare yourself with others. And uh, if you will compare uh, uh, yourself with the other people, definitely you will uh, trap in the trap in the anxiety and other sorts of dep depression. Moving back to the topic, uh, that is uh, the capacity of learning of every individual among uh, animals uh, is depend upon the complexity and organization of uh, nervous system. And uh, we have uh, some special developmental codes uh, during our development and uh, uh, adult stage uh, uh, through which uh, our uh, genome encode and uh, uh, further uh, uh, that uh, maintain our uh, mental or uh, nervous system capabilities. So we as a student of uh, behavioral ecology in past there was a fight between uh, uh, environmentalist and uh, geneticist. Uh, geneticists were um, emphasizing that uh, uh, the whole behavior is determined by genes, whereas the environmentalist always uh, uh, focused on that uh, every behavior uh, uh, is learned by the experience uh, of organism. So rather we go into the uh, disagreement of uh, these uh, two school of thoughts, uh, both nature and uh, nurture, are shaping the learning. So nature and environment both are playing vital role in the learning of uh, uh, individual behavior. To recognize their offspring and their offspring also have uh, uh, capability or capacity to recognize their uh, uh, parents for uh, parental care and uh, sport. As you uh, uh, earlier study about parental care, next type is the imprinting behavior. Uh, imprinting behavior uh, generally operate at the time of uh, birth or at the time of uh, chick uh, uh, which hatched from the eggs. And uh, imprinting, uh, you can say, uh, take place at the specific time uh, period uh, that time period in which imprinting develop is known as uh, uh, sensitive uh, behavior. A particular individual or uh, 
object which is uh, uh, placed in front of the uh, duck and uh, uh, other birds uh, uh, chicks they will consider uh, uh, that moving object uh, as a uh, mother that's why young one will uh, follow that moving object uh, or uh, uh, animal you have observed that uh, uh, sometimes we have uh, we incubate uh, uh, eggs of duck under uh, hen foster mothership uh, and uh, those ducklings uh, follow their uh, mother hen so uh, this is also an example of uh, imprinting uh, and uh, a particular individual or object uh, which we place uh, in front of uh, newly born chick uh, that period uh, uh, provide uh, an image to the chicks uh, for, uh, for further motherhood chick. spatial learning and uh, cognitive maps in natural environment uh, uh, everywhere natural variations in the location of nest site hazards food and uh, uh, prospective mates uh, there is uh, an important uh, step that animal learn the location and pathways uh, uh, of uh, their uh, territory or uh, home range so in environment we have a specific uh, signs uh, uh, of um, rocks uh, trees uh, and uh, uh, you can say uh, grasses uh, and uh, topography of a particular region so these uh, spatial signs uh, also help the individuals uh, for uh, uh, learning spatial learning uh, is a, a quite sophisticated and uh, it is uh, uh, generally more developed in case of uh, animals uh, uh, like birds uh, and uh, mammals. Sometimes uh, uh, some animals uh, use uh, cognitive maps. Cognitive mean a uh, map developed within the mind and uh, brain and on the basis of uh, reasoning uh, uh, that animal or uh, individual uh, is uh, 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 remembering the signs, uh, spatial signs uh, uh, surrounding uh, the uh, surrounding the habitat or uh, nest of uh, an organism. We have the example of uh, jay. This blue jay uh, is a corvid. Corvid mean uh, it uh, belongs to the crow family, the crow, raven, and uh, uh, nutcrackers. Uh, these uh, uh, birds are included in their uh, fam uh, family and these uh, jays store their food item uh, in hundreds of uh, holes uh, and uh, uh, cracks uh, of the trees and uh, uh, this activity they perform uh, throughout the year uh, and uh, then they uh, defend their territory uh, their territory might be more than uh, one point uh, square kilometer uh, and uh, if there is any intruder coming in their territory ultimately they have uh, food resources uh, and uh, they have to defend their uh, territory and other example of uh, a spatial learning digger wasp in uh, early lecture we have uh, studied that digger wasp uh, is a uh, example of uh, innate or uh, instinctive behavior there is there are uh, different uh, pine cones which were uh, placed in the form of circle and uh, these uh, uh, pine cones uh, are act as uh, visual landmark for the digger wasp after uh, foraging uh, when this uh, digger wasp uh, returned to the uh, nest uh, it used the landmarks uh, of uh, these uh, uh, cones. Inversion uh, shifted uh, the position of uh, these uh, uh, cones, which were around the nest of uh, uh, digger wasp. As a result of uh, digger wasp, uh, which have uh, cognitively recognized all these cones as a landmark 
Digger wasps use uh, special signs uh, to reach the nest, uh, and uh, when digger wasps reach to the uh, cone circles, uh, there was no nest, which clearly indicating that uh, digger wasp use uh, special marks or signs to reach its uh, nest. We have uh, another type of behavior uh, that is uh, associative learning. Associative learning uh, involves uh, association of one event to the other event. The example of blue jay, this blue jay feed on the monarch butterfly. Monarch butterfly basically is uh, for the first time feeding uh, on monarch butterfly and uh, monarch butterfly you can uh, say that uh, uh, it uh, developed from the larvae uh, which feed on the milkweed so uh, monarch bur butterfly is distasteful and uh, toxic to the bird and blue jay uh, will will regurgitate this uh, blue jay learned about the monarch butterfly that uh, this butterfly is not tasty and uh, later on other uh, viceroy butterfly which is quite similar to the uh, monarch butterfly in next time this uh, blue jay will also avoid to eat the viceroy butterfly because its experience is that uh, monarch butterfly is distasteful and uh, it's associated uh, 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 other butterflies uh, are also distasteful so this learning of uh, blue jay is uh, known as uh, associative learning so before uh, concluding of uh, today's class uh, i will mention this lady jane goodall this lady spent more than 35 years uh, in uh, African forest for the study of uh, chimpanzee. She developed friendship with chimpanzee and uh, she studied um, uh, behavior, uh, family system, feeling, uh, languages of chimpanzee uh, throughout uh, her life. Now she's uh, working as a UN ambassador for peace she's also of the point of view that uh, uh, we and uh, chimpanzee are very closely related species and uh, when you meet any chimpanzee you meet individual personality when a baby chimpanzee look at you it's just like a human baby so we have a moral responsibility to care all these species living on this planet and this is our moral and ethical obligation to protect the right of living of all these species ji sir mera sir mera question hai ki jo imprinting behavior tha ye instincts tha ya learning tha ye bhi learning behavior hai kyunki agar aap dekhe ke ducklings jab hatch hote hain egg se to aap unke samne ek moving object hai to they will follow you just like they are following their mother ji sir thank you sir सर ये एसोसिएट लर्निंग वाला दोबारा बता दें वी हैव द एग्जांपल ऑफ ब्लू जे दिस ब्लू जे इज फीडिंग ऑन मोनार्क बटरफ्लाई एंड मोनार्क बटरफ्लाई इज अ टॉक्सिक एंड टेस्टलेस स्पीशीज दैट्स व्हाई व्हेन ब्लू जे ईट इट इट विल रीगर्जिटेट बिकॉज मोनार्क बटरफ्लाई कंटेन सम टॉक्सिक कंपाउंड्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन मिल्क वीड एंड Uh, with the help of these chemical uh, it become uh, distasteful or toxic uh, and this uh, bird blue jay has learned that uh, this butterfly is toxic uh, whenever uh, in future any monarch butterfly uh, will come 
this bird blue jay will avoid to eat it we have a similar species of butterfly that is a viceroy butterfly and that viceroy butterfly is quite similar to the monarch butterfly uh, this uh, blue jay has learned that monarch butterfly is toxic this bird uh, uh, this bird will consider that uh, same butterfly uh, which is uh, uh, viceroy having a similar uh, wing pattern uh, will also be toxic ek cheez se usne learn kiya aur phir usne usko dusron ke dusre event ke upar bhi apply kiya to ye kya hai associated लर्निंग है इसमें हम एक लर्निंग को दूसरी लर्निंग के साथ एसोसिएट कर देते हैं सर वो जो आपने बी वाला बताया था कि वो नेस्ट बनाती है तो उसके गिर्द वो गोल गोल से बने होते हैं फिर वो अपनी नेस्ट चेंज कर लेती है ये वाला बता दो डिगर वेस्ट ये डिगर वेस्ट जो है ये अपनी खुराक ढूंढने के लिए नेस्ट से बाहर जाती है और जिस रास्ते से ये बाहर जाती है तो ये इर्द गिर्द के जो लैंडमार्क्स होते हैं उनको जहन में रखती है टिम वर्जन जो कि एक बिहेवियरल इकोलॉजिस्ट था उसने इनके नेस्ट के गिर्द कोन्स रख दी कुछ छोटी और कुछ बड़ी और जब वो वैस यहाँ से बाहर चल, चली गई तो उसके बाद क्या हुआ कि उसने ये कोन्स चेंज कर दी जब वही डिगर वैस खुराक के बाद यहाँ पे वापस आई और उस नेस्ट की पोजीशन भी चेंज थी तो उसने आके यहाँ पे नेस्ट जो है वो ढूंढना शुरू कर दिया क्योंकि उसके जहन में ये वाली दो चीजें थी ये स्पेशल स्पेशली मार्क थी तो ये नेस्ट से वो थोड़ा सा डिसलोकेट हो गई जिस वजह से क्या हुआ कि उसकी जो डायरेक्शन है वो डिस्टर्ब हो गई सर ये जो आपने इम्प्रिंटिंग में डक वाइल को दोबारा बता दें अच्छा ये देखे ना ये मदर है ये गीज जिसे बड़ी बतख कहते हैं इसके यंग वंस क्योंकि एट द टाइम ऑफ हीचिंग हैचिंग इनके सामने जो मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट था वो मदर थी ठीक है इन्होंने उसको फॉलो करना शुरू कर दिया और फिर दूसरे केस में हम देखते हैं कि ये एक लेडी है और इसने अपने घर पे जो है काफी सारी डक्स जो है वो पाली और इनकोबेटर से इनको इनकोबेट किया और फर्स्ट मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट पे इनके सामने ये लेडी थी और हैचिंग yes, इन्होंने इसको फॉलो करना शुरू कर दिया तो वो आफ्टर बर्थ एक सेंसिटिव पीरियड होता है जिसमें यंग वंस जो हैं वो क्या करते हैं कि अपनी मदर को रिकग्नाइज करते हैं और फॉलो करते हैं इसी तरह ह्यूमन बेबी के साथ है आप अगर देखें तो वो मंथ या मोर देन वन मंथ एज में अपनी मदर को रिकग्नाइज करता है और उसके बाद उसके साथ थ्रू आउट द लाइफ जो है वो एफिलियेटेड रहता है